Hey, 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 what's up, my crypto fans? So Bitcoin still continues to pump to the upside. It's busting now to around about $52,000 at the time of recording this video. And that is well suppressing its 50K strong resistance point. I'd like to see Bitcoin close three daily candles above that 50k strong resistance mark to see if it has more legs to the upside. But of course, today's topic of the video is all about ADA, Cardano, and getting its the recognition it deserves. I've been looking at the kind of socials and the media and the news surrounding ADA, and it's not getting any good press at the moment. A lot of people are slating it, saying they was expecting more, that ADA's finished, that ADA's dead. But that, to me, just does not ring true. If like in a minute we'll look at the charts we do see that ada's outperformed on this pump eth and it's outperformed bnb it's only second to the likes of solano and link that ada's not performed well in this pump it has done yes marginally better but it's still better than the ones that everyone's raving about and of course last but not least we're going to be looking at portfolio allocation and what i think is going to be good for this next bitcoin arvin if you want to see all that cool stuff and more stay tuned and let's go crypto Boom. So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Christian and this is Crypto OG, where I'll give you all the news, reviews and overviews in the crypto DeFi, yes, and sometimes NFT space. And of course, this channel would not be complete without the mandatory waffle of anything you see, hear or choose to ignore is not financial advice. It's just me being nice. And of course, if you're dumb enough to put all your money into one main with your fingers crossed, that to me is gambling. And on this channel, we're more into the investors and trader side. So with all of that mandatory stuff out of the way, let's jump straight into today's topic. Now, we're going to take a quick look at the Bitcoin chart just to see where Bitcoin's going at the moment. And as you can see on the chart here, Bitcoin is having a steady pump. This is a daily time frame. And you can see since really it had its big day breakout on the 7th, over the last eight days, Bitcoin has been on a pretty much pump all the way up. But we know in this market that what goes up must come down. And Bitcoin pumping this consistently for this many days does mean it's due for a rollover. And we could see it losing momentum back down to the 50K mark. Now, interestingly enough, if we look at the hour time frame, Bitcoin's using the 50 day moving average as a perfect, honest um, support bounce point all the way up to its grind up to the $52,000 mark. But once Bitcoin suppresses this on the hourly, four hourly or the daily, I'd like to see Bitcoin close three daily candles above this 50K resistant mark. Or we could start seeing these into red candles soon and a nice little retracement down. Now, me personally, I would like to see Bitcoin retrace from here and come back down to its historical 20% dips. Now, what I mean by that is... This big retracement here on the daily and these since it's been coming up, these retracements from like here down to here have all been around about 20%. You can see here, we'll go from there to there. You can see it's around about 20%. So if that is anything to go by, we could see Bitcoin get rejected at $52,000 here and pull down 20%, which would mean it comes down to around about these levels of the 40 or 43,000 where Bitcoin just could not get past for a long time, uh, which which was here. I, I think we'd probably hit these levels first before we come down. But that's Bitcoin. And why am I talking about that? It's because the topic of today's video is Cardano ADA. And this, as you can see, is quite correlated to Bitcoin. So we really need to watch what Bitcoin's doing in order to see what ADA's doing. Now, ADA's been getting some bad press, which is not great. And I can't really understand why. I'm, I think... Yes, ADA doesn't pump or it's not as sexy as a lot of other coins, but for you've got to think that this is outperformed Ethereum, it's outperformed BNB in the pump from here to here, and it's only second to the likes of Link and Solana. So for me, ADA just needs to get a little bit more recognition, and it has a lot of strong community, and it has a lot of strong stuff going from it. I mean, yeah, ADA... People have said aid is dead. It's not doing as much as we want. But if we look in the news of what's up and coming, the up and coming April 24 Bitcoin halving, which is in about 61 days, four hours, as you can see here, is going to be a massive momentum for Bitcoin 
And obviously, if ADA is correlated to Bitcoin, it would be massive for Cardano as well. So Bitcoin halving events have historically influenced in the crypto market with scheduled block rewards, etc. Previous halvings, those are 16, sorry, 2012, 16, led to significant price increase over time. So obviously, where do we see kind of ADA going if it's following the momentum? Now, everyone's saying to me, um, Bitcoin's suppressing 100,000 in this ultra bull run. So that means ADA will suppress its last on a bull run highs from memory without looking at it was around about just under the three dollars so for me i would be expecting cardano to really hit realistically around about the six dollar minimum mark and i do generally think that's happened so that's going to be a strong stable coin well not stable but you know like a stable portfolio coin that's potentially got a 5x from here now currently priced at 56 obviously this is a little bit older than what we're looking at. Cardano shows resilience at 1.57 increase in the past 24 hours. Now that's just a little bit more, but what I want to show you down here is, is that the up and coming plus step V3 upgrade, which will be a significant movement for Cardano. And market dynamics indicate that Cardano's journey to $1 may be influenced by factors beyond its historical correlation with Bitcoin. Speculations around Cardano's discounted value currently resisted at $1 and its recent positive reaction to the Bootus V3 upgrade contributed to the ongoing debate. Now, read more about Cardano price prediction to surge 500% in the crypto bull run. Um, 500% is exactly what I'm thinking, to be honest with you. I'm thinking just over that. Um, that's pretty conservative and I'm, I am thinking just over that now because that's just the way I like to think that the, the Cardano army operates. Now, I'm just going to go into my portfolio kind of update stuff in a second. But for me, let me know in the comments, are you a big ADA fan? Do you think it's going to do the 500% the pump and get itself way above the $6 mark? Or do you think Cardano is going to run out of flavor with the community and run out of steam? Personally, I think it's not one to be written off. So with all of that being said, let me just quickly be and thank you if you've stayed this long till the end. I really appreciate it. Give yourself a virtual i5. You and the community are really helping grow my channel. But I just want to say when we're investing in this next bull run, we really do have to look at how we allocate our portfolio because this is the make or break. Now, last bull run, I followed quite closely to this, but instead of splitting my 25% save coins, I put it all into Ethereum because I was buying Ethereum at $750 and that worked well. But I think in this ultra bull run, we've got to do things a bit differently. So I'm just going to jump into what I think would be a good allocation. But before I do just jump into that allocation, leave in the comments what you think is good for a crypto portfolio. What I'm going to show you now may give you a wet and an appetite, but I'm really keen to know what coins you're holding. And maybe we can do a review of them on the channel. Let's jump into this crypto allocation that I've put together just as a sample of what I think could be a good mover for the next 24 25 bull run wallop so here you can see that i in the last bull run i was splitting my allocation between bitcoin ethereum stable coins and the risky altcoins but i did a 25 25 25 25 split this time i want to get a bit more um risky and a bit more conservative at the same time now what i want to do is i want to do 30 percent bitcoin because i think bitcoin's going to outperform what it did in the last bull run i think with the institutional money it's going to go that little bit higher so every bit of profit i make when i sell my peaks of these risky altcoins and i sell my peaks of these because that's what i do every all-time high i sell wait for the retracement buy back in i'm going to be allocating my profits into bitcoin to get this 30 percent up now Last time with my 25% just being in ETH, this time I want to spread it a little bit thinner just because I think some of these altcoins will outperform each other. I think ETH will be the slowest runner on here. Some people are predicting this will go to 10,000. Um, ADOT, I think, will go to, like I say, over $6. BNB, I think, has been so slow at the moment. I think that's correlate, um, compressing and that will go absolute parabolic and analysts are saying solana could go to a um a thousand dollars this next ultra bull run so it's not one to be sniffed at and to be honest i'm already 
bigly allocated into Solana because when Solana was trading right down, I think around that eleven dollar mark, I got into Solana at fourteen dollars and I kept accumulating as much as I could. And of course, we want twenty five percent of our portfolio always in stable coins to buy the dips. Now, a lot of people ask me to say, well, if you've always got twenty five percent in stable coins and you buy the dips. When that dips goes, how do you get stable coins? Well, again, it's all in the risky alts. When the risky alts hit that kind of 10x or they hit that all time high, I have key triggers, which I'll show you throughout the, the year on my channel of when I sell them for harvest profits. Because you, we, we have a saying on this channel that we only buy red and we only sell green. So while the market's getting FOMO um, going up, that's when we're selling to the FOMO market. When the market's in fear and everyone's selling going down, that's when we're buying back off the weak hands. So you have to be psychologically prepared to way we like to trade on this channel. But this is where we get most of our money off the risky alts. Now, when I say risky alts, I'm the big fan of HTR, VRA, VChain. That's what I mean by riskier alts. Right down to even the Shiba Inus, the PEP coins, there's a 25% can be spread a long way. We can put a thousand pound in, let's say this portfolio is like half a million dollars. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a good allocation to split between these. So we'd have plenty of money to risk these risky alts. Even if it's a hundred dollars, you still have a little bit of money to put in there. But the only one that I could see coming in here, but again, I brought most of my allocation of link um, when it was just below $6. Um, and I did actually, not many of you probably know this, I did actually sell my car and pumped <laughs> most of the money into Link. So I won't be really selling Link now till it has a new all-time high. Once Link has a new all-time high, that's when I'll sell my allocation, everything of Link, wait for the big retracement as everyone does, and then buy back in again. And I'll ride Link out all the way like this rodeo ball here throughout the bull market. But this is just a flavor of how I want to position myself to be super, super well trained into the next bull run so I can absolutely maximize my profits. But again, I know this video has gone on a little bit, but let me know what you think. I think just as a recap is Ada's not getting the recognition it deserves. Bitcoin's due a rollover and we really need to start thinking about how we're going to allocate our portfolio coming into this next bull run. But as always on Crypto OG, trade smart, trade safe and don't get ripped.